Hey, welcome back to another craft showcase video. This time we're going to turn a freelancer website from this to this. You can find all of these templates on our website and use them freely in your craft docs. We're going to start by reformatting the text. So I'm going to swipe right to left on this, go to the style menu, turn it into a subtitle, make it a block and a focus, change the color to this pink. I also want to make the text stand out, so I'm going to select it here and go down to the highlight button at the bottom and pick a gradient. Okay, now I want to make some numbered bullet lists, so I'm just going to select these by swiping right to left. Go into style and press the numbered bullet there. Numbered bullets only work if the text beneath them is indented, so I'm just going to go into each block and swipe right to indent them. Let's turn the color of these links into the same color scheme that we're using throughout the rest of the document by going to style, colors, and just selecting it there. Now I'm going to select these headings and make them a focus and block and turn them to pink as well. I'm going to go into this project heading, make that a focus, and then I'm just going to, rather than change color, I'm just going to highlight project here. Next. Let's select these and turn them into bullet points and actually add a block and make that pink too. We're going to turn them into strong as well to really make them stand out. Now I'm going to use this forward slash menu to get a separator up just to differentiate between these different sections. Now I'm going to turn this piece into a heading and same again, just the first part I'm going to highlight and turn it into a gradient. Now on another project, we'll do the same thing. So I'll speed through using focus blocks and colors, another focus block and turn the first word into a gradient again. Take these, turn them into blocks, make it pink, bullet list and make them strong. I'm gonna use a forward slash menu again for a separator. You should really check out the forward slash menu. There's lots of different options in there. You can put anything from an image to use the AI assistant. So check that out. Same again with the gradient here, and we're going to make that a heading. I'm going to change some of this written content into a numbered list, so I'll select it, go to the style menu, and hit numbered list. Testimonials, we want to make pink, and focus and blocks, and just put a little extra light separator in there. And we're going to make the get in touch a link to email the freelancer, so we'll go style, subtitle, we'll go into more options here, and center align it. And we'll turn it into a block and make that pink color. And now by selecting all of the text inside the block and pressing this link button here, we can do a mail to link, which will automatically open up an email client to email the freelancer. Now we're going to group all of the text into different cards. So swipe right to left on each one and press group at the bottom. We're going to swipe left and actually you can drag your finger down and group. So you just swipe left on the first and drag your finger down on the dots on the right. Now we can turn these pages into cards by selecting them, go into the style menu, more and card. I'm going to change the shape and size of the card, maybe the preview, and I want to go in and make sure the gradient matches my color scheme. And next I'm going to apply the style. I'm going to go into a couple of the pages, add a page style and a cover image, and that'll show up on the card previews there. Now I'm going to group the next section. group and the same again. Hopefully you're starting to see how quickly you can start turning text into layered documents and you can start organizing things in a, a much more concise way than a full page. Now we're going to turn these into cards as well. So style menu, more card. We're going to use different style for these ones. And that's the structure here. So what we have left to do is add a background gradient in page style and a cover image. And we're done. Feel free to head to our website link below where you can get this template and hundreds of others to use in craft.